गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग माधव प्लीज अटेंड कम हाउ आर यू माधव आई एम डूइंग गुड मैम थैंक यू सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर नेम प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ मैम आई एम अ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट एंड आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस इन ऑडिट एंड टैक्सेशन आई कम फ्रॉम द सिटी ऑफ म्यूजिक ग्वालियर आई हैव माई अकेडमिक रूट्स फ्रॉम अ बोर्डिंग स्कूल इन इंदौर एंड आई हैव डन माई कॉलेज फ्रॉम नरसिंह मुंजी कॉलेज मुंबई माई इंटरेस्ट इंक्लूड फ्यूजन कुकिंग आई हैव प्लेड हॉकी एट द स्टेट्स लेवल एंड करंटली आई वॉल्टियर फॉर ऑर्गन डोनेशन अवेयरनेस विद एन जी ओ ऑर्गन डोनेशन सो टेल मी हाउ मेनी एंड लाइक वट ऑल ऑर्गन कैन अ पर्सन डोनेट मैम देर वुड बी टू केसेस वन इज द केस ऑफ अ ब्रेन डेथ सो इन दैट केस ऑल द ऑर्गन एंड टिश्यूज कैन बी डोनेटेड सो दैट वुड इंक्लूड लंग्स किडनीज पैंक्रियाज एंड इवन द टिश्यू सच एज आईज कॉर्निया सॉरी कार्टलेजेस बोन स्किन्स दिस कैन बी डोनेटेड एंड इन केस ऑफ कार्डियक डेथ ओनली द टिश्यूज कैन बी डोनेटेड ओके एंड इफ अ पर्सन हैज डाइड then what organs can be extracted ma'am uh, that would depend on the uh, type of death so in cardiac death uh, the heart stops working first and uh, which is a general kind of death uh, people experience so in that case only tissues can be donated so even at your home you can uh, get the facility of extracting your cornea and skin in some city that is possible but in the case of brain death ma'am the other organs they are kept uh, working through a ventilator so that is why we can donate the other organs in case of a brain death is there any organ that cannot be donated now i think there could be multiple i have to read more about it okay okay madam uh you must have read about the social issues that are going on something happened in manipur yes ma'am so uh, and at the same time in urban areas we see that a kind of a, a gender re- role reversal has also happened so how can you explain the irony that at the same time a women are empowered also and at the same time there are instances where they are uh, being humiliated ma'am i would say the progress overall would not be uniform there are uh, areas where women have uh, progressed in different sectors or in different fields i would say so that would vary on different degrees in uh, the region you are there so maybe in the southern region we have greater progress compared to the northern region so there are few pockets and areas where uh, still there is a work to be done but uh, these instances are uh, uh, very unfortunate ma'am and they are a blot on our society we must uh, take uh, immediate measures to t- tackle these what failure do you find out like is it a law and order failure is it a societal failure is it a government failure like what kind of failure is more prominent in this ma'am i would see it as a societal failure prominently because uh, even law and order or government cannot be present everywhere the society itself has to have an order which they follow and if they are uh, indulging in such kinds of uh, indecent incidences Um, i don't think uh, society has a proper conscience to guide their values so they must be guided by values rather than such instances very right so uh, tell me so you have been a educated person what has what education has given you apart from of course job and uh, academic excellence what else have you achieved ma'am uh, education basically knowledge is power ma'am with the knowledge you get power power to change the society power to change yourself first and it develops your uh, wholesome personality so uh, apart from that ma'am there are different values how to gel with people how to understand their problems these are some intangible aspects which are uh, taught by education ma'am. so you have read current affairs today newspaper what are the three prominent news that you feel that you feel are very important for india ma'am uh, one being there has been an agreement that has been uh, settled between uh, the ulfa and the government of assam and union government for uh, peace settlement in the assam 
Second, with respect to IR, there has been a turmoil in the Red Sea because of the Houthis rebels in Yemen. They are attacking ships. So it has caused turmoil. And the third aspect is with respect to economics. Uh, the RBI has been changing different uh, parameters for the systematically important banks. Very right, Madhav. Any other person or personality you feel is uh, sharing the same name with you? Yes, ma'am. Um, ma'am, one is uh, the famous politician, uh, Madhav Rao Sindhya ji. Uh, he was a part of the UPA government uh, in uh, 2000s and he was a civil aviation minister. Any other supernatural personality? Yes, of course, ma'am. Uh, my name is uh, derived after Lord Krishna. And uh, that was the basic uh, idea of giving my name. What is the meaning? Like, why was Krishna, uh, Lord Krishna called Madhav? Ma'am, uh, there are two prominent reasons for it. One is, uh, uh, he was noted as, to be similar as honey, as sweet as honey, so Madhu. So his compassion, his loving nature. And second, he was also from Madhu dynasty. So that way also Madhu comes into play. Okay, thank you, Madhu. Sir. Okay, Madhu, uh, you just mentioned that uh, knowledge is power. But I say that knowledge is potential power. Do you agree or not? Sir, I would agree in the sense uh, just having knowledge and not applying it would not uh, convert into power, sir. So you must have the capabilities to apply your knowledge as well. Sir. So application of knowledge, then you become powerful. If you have knowledge but you don't apply it, then you are not powerful. Correct, sir. Even applying in the right direction would also make a difference. Now, Madhav, uh, you have told about yourself. Now, can you tell me if I have to ask, uh, who is your best friend? Can you name that your best friend? Sir, I am a very uh, friendly and extrovert person, sir. I have multiple friends. No, uh, just name one. Sir, my best friend is Parag, sir. Parashar. Parag. Parag. Yes. Okay. If I have to ask Parag uh, what type of a person Madhav is, what will he tell me? Sir, uh, he would see me as uh, uh, a one who can take care of people and understand the concerns. And uh, off late, I think he would be annoyed for uh, not giving me giving me adequate time because of uh, my commitments towards UPSC. Sir. I think those aspects will be raised by him. Okay. And what do you think your parents think of you? Yeah. Sir, uh, I think uh, they have high ambitions for me. And uh, they have always provided me a platform so that I can excel in life. Um, they see me as a loving person, sir. They see you as a loving person. Okay. Now, whom do you admire in your life and why? Sir, I have a great admiration for my grandfather, sir. Uh, he, basically, he uh, migrated to Madhya Pradesh from Rajasthan. It's, it's her erstwhile uh, ancestral village. He set it up a business and made sure that the whole family gets settled. Even now, at the age of uh, 80, 90, he's living a very disciplined life, spiritually, as well as uh, in terms of practicing yoga. We share the same room, and uh, I'm imbibing those traits in myself. So what quality have you imbibed from your grandfather? So one is discipline, sir. Uh, I've become a morning person, and I see uh, those productive hours being used. Second is uh, focusing on your health and fitness. Uh, I see him doing yoga and exercises, so that really inspires me. The third aspect is uh, having a spirituality or religious angle in your life. Sir. So he has really taught me different values, not uh, just focusing on your work and uh, rather than thinking of the results. Thinking of religion? Results, sir. Results. Okay. Outcome. Thinking of result. Okay. What hobbies and interests do you have? Sir, I have an interest in cooking, sir. Cooking? And which type of cooking? Indian cooking, continental, Chinese, what type? Sir, uh, particularly I have a habit of watching different videos and learning from it. So, uh, I have developed an interest for fusion cooking, sir. I try to mix up different cuisines and uh, like to practice it, sir. So what's the difference between hobbies and interest? Sir, I would say hobbies would be particularly where uh, you take a greater amount of uh, time to practice those compared to interest. I think on the basis of scale, hobbies would uh, rank much ahead than interest. 
So it uh, is related to time or it is related to something else. So one could be your trying and uh, I would say a hobby would first be an interest before it becomes a hobby. Okay, thank you, Madhu. Madhu, I've been looking at your profile. You passed out in 16. Then you did CA. You did CFA. Come from a business background. What really motivated you to shift and struggle for around 8 years now? 24 is about to start. What got you here? Sir, uh, I have been good in academics from uh, my childhood and that really ins inspired and persuaded. I was persuaded by my parents to pursue civil services. At that time, maybe uh, I was not even enough mature. So, and I had a passion for accounting. So I first decided to pursue that by doing a college in accounting and finance. Then my CA articleship training continued for 2016 to 19. And post that, I've been working with a CA firm. Uh, I believe, sir, civil services, uh, those CAs are also partners in nation building. They exercise audit functions and uh, provide authenticity to documents. But civil services is a great platform, sir. Uh, I think with the more uh, job satisfaction, as well as the scale and diversity that you get. So you mentioned that uh, you have performed audits. What are the various kind of audits? Sir, the uh, assurance function has different kinds of audits. Sir. Uh, one would be the statutory audit, uh, internal audit, management audit, environmental audit, etc. So in the age of big data, there is a concept emerging of system audit. Are you aware of that? Please elaborate. So the system or the uh, audit of the uh, different uh, ERP softwares that uh, companies use is uh, very much essential because most companies nowadays take their decisions based on the inputs and outcomes of those ERP systems. So we have to evaluate whether the ERP systems are safe, proper checks and controls are incorporated in them, different algorithms which are uh, based out of it. So they have to be properly audited to ensure the, uh, there are proper outcomes of the whole systems. So let's say that you get into revenue services and you have like a truckload of data in front of you both GST and income tax department. What are the parameters that you would ensure key these controls are to be maintained in compliance of international norms or just to check the system issues? So one would be um, the cross verification and basically data triangulation. If we could uh, map the GST numbers, PAN numbers, we could uh, collaborate the data. For uh, instance, as of now, we have around 14 uh, million GST uh, uh, assessees. But uh, in the case of income tax, it's around 80 million. So why is there a gap between these two? If we could uh, track the GST purchases of some assessees, their luxury purchases, we could map why are they, if they are not filing adequate uh, incomes, that could be one. So how do you view the recent surge in SIP accounts? Let's say ki, there are hardly 7 crore pens. Okay. But there are around the same amount of SIP accounts being opened every month. So how do you view this uh, discongruence? Sir, the uh, SIP of uh, mutual funds have been particularly attracted interest after uh, the COVID pandemic. And uh, individuals have uh, started engaging in uh, stock markets either directly and most of them are using through SIPs and mutual funds. Sir. So that is the main uh, driver of their interest. Uh, so the dichotomy between these two could be, uh, I'll ask to read more about it, sir, because uh, when you are enrolling for mutual fund uh, directly, that uh, information will go to the income tax department and uh, proper taxes will be deducted on those incomes. So there must not be a dichotomy here, sir. No, dichotomy in the, in the range of income. So SIP amounts are more than the tax buy and see numbers that we have. Sir, I have to reflect on this. We, to sum up, people are investing more than they are earning. Where is this earning coming from? Sir, uh, this must be from uh, some sources which they are not reporting uh, in the income tax forms. Often, uh, if there is an income which is exempt, so that may be... Uh, not uh, so p 
people have less habits of filing income tax returns, sir. Even if they are earning exempt income like agriculture, that may be a driver of those income. Okay. Thank you. Okay, madam. As I was listening, so basically, data we are using for finding out various sources of income. So this is basically a predictive type of artificial intelligence. But nowadays we are talking about generative AI. So what is generative AI? Sir, the generative AI has a potential to uh, generate different kinds of outcomes based on the prompts which is provided to the player. So it could generate uh, different answers for you, uh, music or different images based on your prompts. But when the generative AI works, there are original c content creators. It is using their content without paying them. So don't you think this is a violation of their works? You are violating the copyrights. Sir, here uh, there would be two types of data. If it is an open source data and it is not licensed, in that case, uh, uh, generative AI can use it for machine learning. But uh, even recently, sir, uh, the New York Times has uh, sued uh, ChatGPT for using it, uh, using its content almost verbatim, sir. In that way, there, there is a need for a mechanism where uh, ChatGPT or other generative AI they compensate for the hard work which is done by the original content creators because otherwise they won't be incentivized to use their content. Exactly. In fact, they are not even giving the credit. Yes, sir. Often, sir. Uh, as you said, you come from city of music. So, what is so great about Gwalior in terms of musical developments, historical musical developments, if we see? Sir, uh, Gwalior... Uh, is a city of music. It has been designated by the UNESCO. And uh, it is a land of uh, music which has given different uh, styles of music as well as different musicians. The prominent one being uh, Mia Tanse, who is uh, famous for uh, uh, the Drupad and uh, Khayal Gharana. So from that we have got the Gwalior Gharana. And later we have had uh, Natakat Khanzi, Javed Akhtarzi and multiple. Okay, great. So who was the guru of Tanse? So I'm not able to recall. Okay, do read about him. Uh, another thing, as you have discussed that uh, you are in into the organ donation awareness campaign. So what is the greatest challenge you face when you go for organ donation awareness? Sir, uh, one of the greatest challenges with respect to the attitudinal issues that people have, they are driven by multiple uh, cases of uh, myths and misinformation about uh, organ donation. They have different religious and uh, spiritual values. Death in India is associated with the different spiritual values and customs. So that is also a challenge which people face uh, in terms of choosing whether to donate their organs or not. So basically you work on changing the attitude. How is spirituality different from religion? Sir, religion would be uh, a proper, uh, I would say, doctrine where it has uh, its codes of conduct, etc. But uh, spirituality does, does not have to be related to religion all the time. Uh, you can be spiritual without being religious. Uh, you can practice meditation, etc. That would also make you spiritual. If you are working for the society, that is also equally spiritual according to me. Okay, so as you said, that when going for these rituals, these people because of spirituality are not donating. So is it because of the religious practices or because of the spirituality? Sir, I'd like to correct myself here, sir. I meant to say religion, sir. Sorry. Okay, okay fine. You were talking about systematic, systematically important banks. Can you define to me what is the difference between systemically and systematically important banks? Systemically and? Systematically. Sir, I don't exactly know the difference, sir. But the systematically important banks, the DCIPs, they have been uh, noted by RBI for uh, because they are too big to fail, sir. They have interconnected lendings and they have a huge size which could have systematic risk for the whole economy. 
So in terms of what does it mean when we say systematically important bank? So for example, if these banks crash, it could create a triple effects of systemic crisis in the whole uh, macroeconomic framework of our countries. Systemic crisis, does that mean they're systemically important banks? Or does that still mean, do you still stand by with your answer that they're systematically important banks? So I'll have to read more about it. I'm not exactly aware of it. What is systematic risk? You must have read it in finance. You're also a CFA. The systematic risk would be this risk which is faced by all the investors and it is equally uh, spread out in the whole system. It could uh, be based on different macroeconomic factors such as maybe the inflation, the fiscal deficit of the country. So such conditions would affect, uh, affect the whole uh, stock market, debt market, etc. How do you diversify a systematic risk? Sir, uh, systematic risk can be diversified by expanding your portfolio and investing into multiple securities or different types of investment. Are you certain that you can do that? Uh, sir, it would also depend on uh, the uh, basically the type of risk you are taking. For example, if you are uh, indulging into economies which have a risk of sovereign debt, even if you diversify your securities in that economy only, uh, that won't make any sense, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, suppose you are the collector of a district tomorrow and you have to track down and then uh, collect all the black money that is rotating in your district. What process will you follow to do that? Sir, we'll, um, we'll have to first understand uh, what are the sources of black money which are prominent in my district, sir. Um, the general sources include... Uh, the use of jewellery to store your uh, black pen, real estate, as well as uh, hiding different uh, general day-to-day -day income, which is the business's answer. Um, sir, it would be a proactive uh, and a multi-stakeholder approach that I have to take, sir. Uh, being a collector, I will have different uh, uh, machineries and mechanisms under me. So, for instance, with respect to the property tax, we could ensure uh, there's a proper property map of our country, uh, the district. Proper ownership can be mapped and ensure there are no Benami transactions in the case of property by collection of property taxes, sir. Uh, for real, uh, for the gold or something, uh, the jewelries, we could have uh, uh, a check on the smuggling if, if, if it is taking place in my district. So through proper uh, uh, surprise checks at the district uh, entries and exits, that could be taken up. For businesses, sir, uh, there would be a long-term approach that we need to follow. Uh, I would say one aspect would be to promote uh, the good taxpayer, sir. Uh, behaviorally, uh, if in case of behavioral economics, if we give incentives and good rewards to the honest taxpayers, more people will come up and pay their taxes and ensure the compliance burden, which the district collector is responsible for, in either of the case, can be reduced, sir. Your father is a businessman. Do you know the behavioral economics that runs behind tax evasion? He must have discussed it with you at times. You would know, he would know. Uh, why do businessmen indulge in tax evasion? So the aspects of uh, behavioral economics, according to me, would be uh, sometimes there is a, no fear of uh, getting caught, sir. Uh, because of a laxed implementation of our uh, tax regime, that could be one. The second aspect here could be uh, there are no proper incentives or recognition that you get when you are paying taxes. So that is also another aspect. Madhav. So uh, I see that you have filled foreign service as your second preference. So explain to me Israel Hamas issue in 30 seconds. Ma'am, the Israel Hamas issue is a civilizational conflict, I would say. It began with the uh, non-fulfillment of the Balfour Declaration by the United Kingdom, which led to uh, the World Wars, the Holocaust event, and the settlement of uh, Jews in the land of Palestine, which they believe to be shared by them. So, I mean, it had multiple wars, peace settlements have also been taken up multiple times, but there is a lack of trust between those parties. Both sides are uh, usually aggressing and uh, deploying different mechanisms. Uh, a long-term solution uh, today would be to de-escalate the war, adopt ceasefire, have humanitarian assistance for the hostages, 
and the those stuck in Gaza and a two state solution. Okay. Has it affected India in any manner? Ma'am, uh, in today's globalized world, ma'am, uh, any event that is happening up has multiple effects on other countries. In case of India, I would say uh, balancing the strategic autonomy because we are close to um, uh, the other parties in West Asia, such as Iran, Saudi Arabia, while the, both these are fighting together uh, in terms of for the cause of Palestine. So balancing that aspect is dif getting difficult. In terms of economy, ma'am, we get uh, Israel exports 40% of its defense to India. So that way, the other aspect is the turmoil in the Red Sea that is leading to increase in our import costs. Shipping costs have increased rapidly and it will also affect our exports. Okay, my last question to you. Supposedly you get posted to a district and your boss is thinking about using the funds in a particular manner, honest way, but particular manner. On the other hand, you think that the, as a CA, you are much more accomplished and uh, uh, you better know how to use that funds effectively and efficiently. Even though you have tried suggesting, but your boss is very sure how they want to use the funds and how they want to uh, deal the whole issue with. What would you do? Ma'am, I would say uh, there must be an open dialogue with my uh, senior here. Uh, we must uh, exchange our views and then come to a consensus how we should use it. Sir. So my knowledge here uh, is one thing, but my senior also has adequate experience in the field. So we'll have to honor both these qualities and find a way out. Okay, thank you, Madhav. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, my comment. Yes, please. Sit, pinch. So, Madhav, how was your experience? Were you anxious? A uh, little bit. Uh, it was a good experience, man. I think uh, I fared uh, decently well in most of the questions. Maybe I'll have to be particularly uh, be particular about my choice of words some places. Systematic, systemic, religious, spirituality. Yeah. So, you have yourself find out. I know, you know what but otherwise, on the positive side, you are a very calm, cheerful personality. You know, so board would like to interact with you. You know, you are not a morose person. I mean, the bad karne ka man nahi kare. Aisa nahi. Board would like to talk to you more and more. Uh, apart from that, you have clarity of thought. The way you summarize the Israel-Palestine or even the gender issue, plus you answered the economy and the CA specific technical issues. That was good. In that way. Uh, apart from that, you said no at the right time. Yada? Wherever you had to retreat, you retreated. Apart from except one systemic and systematic wala uh, uh, jo apart from uh, that, you were retreating at the right time. Uh, you even admitted wherever you could have improved. You know, so that is very good as a UPSC candidate. Uh, though the board feels that you land passion sometimes. You know? So when you were talking about cooking, when you were talking about organ donation, these are your hobbies and interests. You know? so, so your face should light up. You know? uh, when you are talking about these, well, if you are doing it, you like it, yeah. you should have that uh, you know, gleam in your eye. That cooking means that I have made it. Well, it's a little bit. Okay, okay. You know, not too much, but... Maybe some examples could be... After the question of... Uh, why do you want to enter civil services? You became anxious. And uh, the answer was very two types. So I think you need to reflect on this particular question. And when you answer this again, the feeling should also be seen in your body language as well as on your face. Same answer, diverse, this, this, this. It doesn't bring out the effect or the marks that it should. Yes, um, a little um, here and there you can improve. Not too much, but yes, a little glance here and there, not too much. I'm saying it with a great caution. You are good. Do not change too much. You are doing very good. You just have to improve on some subtle uh, subtleties 
of your expression so a very good uh, candidate your voice is good a little higher pitch very little very little would make you appear more confident yeah so i think see you in the list then <laughs> best wishes ma'am थोड़े दो तीन क्वेश्चन और यू कैन प्रिपेयर बैठ जाओ पहला तो तानसेन अभी मेला हुआ है ग्वालियर में काफी बड़ा और सी एम पहले उन्होंने वही करा इट्स बीन इन न्यूज तानसेन यू शुड बी अवेयर अबाउट दूसरा एन एफ आर ए के चेंजेस अगेन सिस्टम ऑडिट ठीक है ये सही बताया था फ्यूजन कुकिंग के कॉन्स बिकॉज फ्यूजन कुकिंग से इंडियन स्ट्रीट फूड की सत्यानाशी हो चुकी है विच इज बेसिकली रिजल्टिंग इन टू यंगर पीपल डाइंग Yes, yes. See then. So that you should be prepared. If someone gets you up, you bought cheese add or I bought transfer mm-hmm. add or I. Organ donation again. Just as last time, I told you, need more practical, मतलब personalized answer. ठीक है. और जब सर बोलने मतलब सर ने क्या opportunity दे बोलने की. Grab it with open hands. Tell your experience कि मैंने valuation में काम करा है, revenue forecasting करी है. ताकि questions तुम्हारे और strengthen मतलब points पे आए. Rather than going into theory of risk, they can go into practical. कि भाई हम book building करी है, है ना revenue forecasting करी. उस हिसाब से. मतलब थोड़ा मतलब you are very well guarded, but एक मौका मिलता है छक्का मारने का मारो. Duck नहीं करो. Okay. Okay. One thing. Bye bye. When I asked him what your friend think about you, that was a great opportunity for you to talk about yourself. ठीक है गिविंग आउट यू पॉजिटिव पर्सनैलिटी पॉइंट्स तो आपने सर बोल दिया ही मे बी अनवाइड विद मी तो वो जो है वो जिसको मौका उठाओ उसको उस पर ठीक है बिकॉज एनी क्वेश्चन विच इज आस ऑलवेज टेक दिस एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सेल योर सेल्फ बिकॉज यू हैव टू सेल योर सेल्फ ठीक है तो ये एंड बिफोर यू गो प्लीज कलेक्ट अ फॉर्म विच आई हैव गिवेन टू मिस्टर डिस्टिंग डेरेज दैट इज सेल्फ अप्रेजल फॉर्म एज सुन एज यू गो हो प्लीज फील दैट फॉर्म and you will find that so many things you will be able to write down about yourself about your self appraisal and for your interview please keep those things in mind and i am i can assure you you will do better okay sir i do thank you thank you so much sir thank you